Okay, so let's get started now with Autoplay Media Studio 5.0. We're going to open the application and you'll see this dialog pop up. Um, we're going to click on the Create a New Project icon here and in the New Project Options dialog we're going to name our project Pane in the Project Name field. We're going to click on the blank project thumbnail here and we're going to click on the Create Project Now button. That's going to create a blank project named Pain. Okay, there we go. And then we're going to go to View, the View menu. This is very important so we can follow along together. Uh, the Workspace Layouts, Compact. So View, Workspace Layouts, Compact. And that way we'll all be looking at the same thing here. If you're in a higher resolution than me, you may see a stretched version of this, but basically the panes will be the same. And in this lesson, we're going to look at the panes, how they act, and how to pin and unpin them. So along the right-hand side here, you'll see this variety of tabs. If we mouse over them, you can see these panes pop out, and they retract automatically when we go back and click on the stage like this. Okay, so that's how an unpinned pane acts. A pinned pane, such as the Properties pane here on the left side, is open all the time and when you click on the page it doesn't retract. You can turn a pin pane into an unpin pane simply by toggling this pin icon in the upper right hand corner. It looks kinda like a thumbtack. So if I click this you'll notice that thing disappears to the left hand side, the properties pane that is, and when I mouse over it it pops out. Now when I click on the stage again it disappears. So it acts just like the unpin panes on the right hand side. Now if I hover over it bring it out and pin it again by clicking back on that icon, you'll see it displaces the page over a bit and it's open permanently now. So that's the important parts of how to pin and unpin. Now if we grab the title of this, the title bar, that little blue area, and pull it out, we can undock this properties pane. And if we drag it back to that edge, and you can do this on any edge of the screen, but we'll do it on the left, as soon as a rectangle appears like that, if we let it go, we redock it. So we can undock, redock, pin, and unpin these inspectors. Now we'll take a look at a couple other behaviors that are kind of interesting. In this case, we need a couple of these panes in order to do this. So I'll take the project size pane from the bottom here, drag it by the title bar, and bring it into the middle here. Now if you ever lose track of what you're doing here, you can always go back to View, Workspace Layouts, Compact, and start again but I'm just gonna go ahead here hopefully you guys have managed to get your setup something like this now here's the really interesting thing is how how we can combine these uh, panes into one pane there's a couple different ways you can stack them bottom or top left or right and that's pretty obvious I'll go ahead and do a bottom top here and you can see we've got the project size pane atop the properties pane and we can size them to get access to both, so on and so forth. Fairly obvious. So I'll pull that one off again, and I'll show you something that's actually fairly amazing. In this case, we're going to do a tabbed combination of these two. So if I pull this by the title bar, and I go to the Properties Inspector just underneath the title bar, and adjust it, you'll see you reach a certain point where there's a little sort of crooked tab at the bottom there in gray. And if I let it go, they become tabbed. So you can click on these little tabs to toggle back and forth between the two panes and it takes up only the space of one pane. It's very amazing, very powerful stuff. You can economize your workspace a lot and you can really get a lot done. And the best thing is, and we'll explore this uh, in the next couple lessons, you can save and restore your workspaces freely. So that's it for this lesson. We've learned how to dock, undock, pin, unpin, and tab combine, or bottom top combine, uh, these panes. There's a lot you can do with these, and uh, if you just play around with them for a little while, I'm sure you'll be a master of this in no time.